Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you today with my dinner, y'all. I am going to get my dinner prepared for this evening. Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you guys get to see this video today. If not, it'll be up Monday. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Hey, sugar. All my honey buns, snack cakes, Jolly Ranchers, Stanker Butts, Intentional, Boo Babies, whatever you consider yourself to be. Hey, honey. All right, y'all. So let me see. Can I get this right? I'm going to, I'm going to bring you down some. Okay. So I can get me another tripod. Let's move Odessa out of the way. Okay. So I'm getting ready to do some. Um, I was going to do a pan roasted chicken, but I'm gonna do oven roasted. I'm eliminating some of the process because I only have one large eye and I have two smaller eyes, but I, I, I just don't want to limit, limit myself that way. So right now I'm getting ready to put together some potatoes um, to roast in the oven. And so I have some bacon potatoes over here. We're going to get them cut up. I've already washed them. Um, if they had like little eyelets on them or something, you know, them little things start growing out, honey. They got popped off, pulled out, whatever. And the seasoning that I'm going to add to the potatoes is onion powder, complete seasoning, a little cayenne pepper, and um, some garlic, okay, some garlic powder, maybe some garlic salt okay and um, parsley and a little bit of I'm gonna mix a little vegetable oil and olive oil together I don't like to taste some olive oil y'all so we're gonna go ahead and get let me get my bowl rinse it out Rinse out my bowl, and I have my oven preheated at 425, and I'm gonna let them cook until they are fork tender. Okay, everybody oven don't do the same, so that's why I say fork tender. So, what are you guys cooking tonight? Have you prepared anything? Uh, for the week, like meal prep or anything like that. Um, I've been trying to step outside of the box and I want to find some new recipes that I can use. Uh, I've watched um, Gina, I've watched Debbie Deb of um, I can't think of her channel name at the moment, but I've been watching a few and I've been on Pinterest looking up some recipes. So we're just going to go from there, see if I can come up with something. But for this week, I have decided to do jerk chicken one day. We're going to do Salisbury steak. Well, it's going to be a semi-homemade version of um, beef stroganoff. We're gonna do chili. We're doing the Cornish hens. Of, co of course, this roasted chicken and um, stewed shrimp. So, those are my little meals that I've come up with. I haven't done jerky, jerk chicken but once. So, um, and it's gonna be the barbecue jerk chicken. So, I'm gonna do some rice with that. I may need to cut these down a little bit more, but I like chunky potatoes with the skin on it. So I have a pan. I'm gonna put these on. Okay. Um, I think that's enough. I'm gonna do one more potato. 
So as far as the chicken is concerned, I have some whole chickens, and I'm only going to do two because they're kind of big. I know, of course, my husband, he can eat half a side of a chicken by himself. And, well, I might do three because I am going to... Um, I'm gonna season them different. And I know he may want his a certain way, but I want mine, I got some ideas. I just come up with some stuff I wanna add to it, so. We're gonna go ahead and add these. Season, I'm gonna put on one more glove. And I put on a glove because um, I have a Band-Aid on my finger and I didn't wanna get any anything in it and get my Band-Aid wet. So we're going to put a little vegetable oil, okay, a little olive oil, okay, I've got some um, garlic pepper. Now, I cannot tell you guys how much to add, and I'm going to start saying that in my video, and reason being is because... We like things a little spicy. And I can't tell you to add all of that spice to your food if you don't like spice. So I'm just going to say, you can try the seasonings that I use, but add the amount that will satisfy you. So I have a tablespoon of garlic pepper. Okay. Uh, we got some complete seasoning. And this one happens to be by Badia or Badia, however you say it. Okay. Onion powder. And I'm gonna do two onion. Y'all know I like onion. Okay, um, let's see what else I'm going to add. Hey, that's going to be it. Well, let me add some garlic salt. Okay, and it's going to be a tablespoon of garlic salt. Okay. Cayenne pepper. We were going to record when we were in um, Sam's, but it was too much going on. Too much going on. And I can't concentrate like that. And I'm going to use a half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper. Right now, because I am going to use some of them again. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and try to get these all mixed together. It's not very big, but we're going to work with what we got. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this one off. And let's get the dish rag. Dish rag, dish cloth. Clean them up, whatever you call it. Clean up some of my mess. Okay. There we go. All right. Now I am going to add a little bit more vegetable oil in the bottom. 
Okay. Let's wrap around with my hand. This is an old pan. I got this pan from my granny. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? All right, dry my hand off. So let's go and get these dumped over in here. See if I can find a spatula. It's time for me to reorganize my Keyshawn again. And I don't mean to redo it, but just go through and put everything back in its place. And you hate to put a label on stuff and have your kids be acting like they don't know nothing but shoot. When you can't find something, you can't find it. Like, are you serious? Okay, so here we go. Pepper got in my nose. It's nicely coated. Nicely coated. Okay. Now we're going to sprinkle a little parsley on the top. Well, it will help if I open the parsley, right? <laughs> that would help. So let me tell y'all about my day. Walmart, if you listening, you know, y'all, my favorite store, but y'all getting ready, y'all getting on my nerves, okay? So, I went online today, and... While Gayla and I was shopping, I was looking for some comforter sets. So I just put in the search on Walmart.com, excuse me, on the app, comforter sets. So it gave me a list of comforter sets on Walmart.com and on in my local store. Baby, they had one that was regular, I think $49.98. It said, in one store, it said clearance, $13.00. And the other store, it said clearance, $21. But when you click on it, it gave you the regular price for all sizes. So, I went to two Walmarts. And the second one, I asked the lady. I don't know why she didn't just do an override and give it to me at that price. I couldn't get it. Okay. They were like, that's a glitch. I said, well, y'all whole website glitched. Because it gave me like... I don't know how many different comforter sets. Now, tell you the truth, one of them I needed to go a good ways from my house to get. That wasn't a glitch. I left it right there in the store. I sure did. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get booger in the oven. I have it on 425. I'm going to put it on the top right first. Then when I get ready to put my chicken in, I'll move it to the bottom. Okay? So... Now for my chicken. Let me get another glove. Some of this stuff out of the way. So here's my chicken, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, I have my pan on the stove, I'm gonna sear it. I'm gonna season it and sear it. I put a little vegetable oil in the bottom of my pan. Um, and then I am going to take them, I'm gonna rinse this pan out, okay? Really, really good. And then I'm gonna put them back in here and I'm gonna roast them in the oven, okay? Um, the next thing I'll do is my, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and make macaroni and cheese. And then the garlic green beans will be last. I wasn't going to make macaroni and cheese today, but I feel like I need some macaroni and cheese. Okay. So we're going to go on and work with that. So I'm going to slide y'all back just a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right. So with that being said, let's turn this eye up. We want it to get hot. I had it on warm so that it can get, you know, 
it can start to warm up. So I have it breast side down. What I'm gonna do is take the back. Now you can use scissors for this or you can use a knife, okay? If you scared to use a knife, try to get you some scissors. Get you some heavy duty fiskers or something, okay? I don't now Dollar Tree scissors might work a little bit, but honey, I don't know. They might kick the bucket on you after a while. Cut right through that bone. Okay? There we go. Head crack. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get a ser a serious. Come on now. Don't do me like that. Let's see. I was going the wrong direction. That's what that was. The wrong direction. I hit that bone. So cut right through that. And then you just take the other side out as well. Now, if you want to leave the bone in, the backbone, you can. Hey, that's got some good flavor in that. And it has a piece of the neck attached to it. That backbone. We're gonna put you over here. Okay, so we got one done. I took some of the extra skin off the end of it because I didn't want that um, that flap. take this glove off so I can handle my my seasonings. So I'm gonna bring y'all in a little closer. All right that pan is heating up so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna season these two. All right so I'm gonna use some kicking chicken mm -hmm. and this has um, some seasonings in it. Cause you know it'll just say dried onion salt dried garlic spices that could be panther pea we wouldn't even know it um red pepper dried orange peel sugar dried red bell peppers and paprika okay let me turn my eye down because that bad boy is, is whew. kick your chicken get ready because I don't need it to be screaming hot um, we're gonna do a little bit of onion powder I'm 
going to do some garlic pepper. Get it all in that cavity, okay? All right, hold on. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I got some, I'm going to add a little lemon pepper. And this one is by um, Kingsford, okay? So that's kicking chicken. There's the lemon pepper, the garlic pepper, onion powder, okay? That I added. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of Saison seasoning, okay? Just a little bit. Okay. Now, we're going to turn these bad boys over. Now, I'm not adding cayenne pepper because the kicking chicken says it has a low heat to it. So, we're going to grab him by both of his legs and turn him over. Okay. Kicking chicken. And I can see because it has red pepper flakes in it. Got to season this butt. A little lemon. Make sure you get those wings. Okay. You want that skin to have some flavor. Okay. A little garlic powder. Okay, so there we go. All juiced up. I'm not going to add any onions, bell peppers, none of that. We're just going to roast these bad boys just as they are. Let's slide our pan back to the eye. Turn it up. And we're going to do it breast side up. Oh, no, I'm going to do it breast side down because we want to get some, some color on that, okay? I'm going to slide you over. I'm going to waste that season. Right on on top. Okay. Now, let me get my oven. While y'all watching that, I know I'll just come back. I'm going to get my other chicken prepared. Okay, y'all. Ooh, I'm getting ready to turn my chicken over, y'all. That. <laughs> Excuse me. That's that spice. Okay. We got big butt over here. We got him going. That skin got a little crust on it, okay? So we're going to let him finish. Then I'm going to put the other one in, and we're going to keep celery salt. Okay. We're going to use the complete seasoning. <coughs> Excuse me. The garlic pepper. Cayenne. Ok. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to just use this hand to turn them over. Onion powder. And I am going to put a little lemon pepper. Everything is all bathed up. Okay. Now, uh, I'm not going to sear these two. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put them in my roasting pan. So let me show you. I'm going to change my glove. I don't see how y'all do it with these gloves, but I had to because of my little boo boo. I don't use about 12 pairs of gloves. Okay. So. We're gonna get these two. Let's see if I can get them all in here together. Um, I'm gonna be probably get. Well, yeah. Got all four of them in there together. Put the juice over in there. We're going to go ahead and get this in the oven. And we're going to start on the macaroni and cheese. Garlic green beans will be last because they don't take that long. Okay? Leaving my eye hot. Okay, y'all. Really quick. I had some leftover um, hamburger from last night. I'm going to smother them. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. Just a little bit. About a couple of tablespoons of breadcrumbs. I got my put my pan back on high. Let me cut up my onion so that can start to brown. Don't need a whole onion, just a piece to flavor the gravy. I know this is not the same glove from earlier. You know, I, you know, it's amazing the stuff that people think about. Like, whoo!
Okay. I can hear that sizzling. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little flour in there. Just a few tablespoons of flour. So I got some flour, I'm going to add some salt, don't need a whole lot to season this, and where's my pepper? Do y'all see the black pepper? Do y'all have the black pepper in there? It's right in my face, y'all. Right in my face, there, you're right here. Just it, overlooking stuff. <laughs> it my word, my word, my word. It's mixed up. This is the ground sirloin. And Gayla made me a couple of burgers with it last night, so this is what I had left. And I'm gonna make use of it. Okay. I'm not gonna add any egg. thing over there I'm going to make me a patty and I got my water on for my pasta my elbows I don't like to add a lot of egg to certain things because like Corey do like ham hamburger patties and um, he's allergic to eggs so I've learned to not put them in certain things just in case he might want to try it. Water is boiling. I'm gonna get me another glove. I'm gonna add some of this. I'm not gonna use the whole two pounds. Because that's just a small thing to make. I have some left for another day. I don't think you can make too much macaroni and cheese, y'all. Meaning, I don't think you can have it too many times. <laughs> now, somebody else might feel different. But, I don't think you can have it too many times.
this to stick. <clears throat> Okay, so the macaroni and cheese, I've got some. I got some Velveeta, butter, mild cheddar, provolone, Kobe, Monterey Jack, and Havarti. Yeah, my green beans. So once my pasta is done, then I can start on the sauce for that. This, that this can be draining in the sink while I get my sauce together. So, I'm going to get a little garlic and another stick of butter. So I won't have to keep coming back to, um, So I got my garlic. I'm gonna use that for my. I'm gonna start letting that get soft. I'm gonna use the garlic and the butter for my green beans. So what I'm thinking about doing is, I might not, well, yeah, I need to melt it. Yeah, I'm going to need to melt it. Make sure they don't stick. Get my cup of water ready. Velveeta. I have not used this, but we're going to see how it makes the macaroni and cheese today. So I added some salt to my water. We're going to get this cut up. 
because it won't be too much longer because I don't want to cook the pasta too much. Uh, where's my strainer? And I got my pan ready for um my sauce. I can go a few more minutes. Yeah, keep that from sticking. y'all like she got so much going on yeah but y'all look thank you jesus i'm getting it done with my big eye not working mm. gotta make do hold on Roasted chicken, macaroni cheese, garlic oh, green beans. Toasted chicken? Roasted chicken. Oh. Garlic green beans. Macaroni oh. and cheese. Oh. Um, the makeup looks nice today. I ain't got on nothing but just some foundation with fake. Mm -hmm. It looks real buttery. Oh, you got a highlight. There y'all. Okay, so my meat. Got a brown on both sides is what I'm waiting on. Okay, so now you can go ahead and put this water in here. And I have two cups of water in here. So I'm going to save a little bit. Let this come back to a boil. I know y'all like that's some light skin gravy. It's all right, but it's still gravy. I can add some browning seasoning in it if I want to make it, you know, a little darker. But I'm gonna let this come to a boil. Okay, shake my pasta. Okay, there we go. Let me dump this. Oh, 
put out back. So that was it. Now there's no salt in this. But I just needed to let it come to a boil. So I can see how thick it is. Now I did use flour. I know Galen is not gonna eat this. This is for me. Okay. I'm gonna taste it. Okay. Definitely need some salt. keep coming to a boil or let it keep simmering. I'm going to turn it down to almost on medium. I'm going to leave the top off of it. Now with this, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put my provolone cheese in here. I like that they can, um, they're selling a the deli sliced cheese and the little packs now. Save some. We're gonna put some mild cheddar in here. If I can get it open. as many slices as you want because I did not count. didn't cook all the way through. You can see the juice, the red juice coming out of it. And that's what I want. I want it to cook. So let's see how many slices I have. One. Two. I don't want to scorch the milk. I want to get all of this. It's melting. Let me see, can I bring y'all in a little closer? Y'all knows it like I am. You want to see. Let's see. If I can raise you up a little bit. So y'all can see over in there. A little bit. Okay. Wow, this is hot. Well, I better leave it like that so y'all can see it. 
Because I'm scared to tilt it down. Let me see. Hopefully, y'all won't pass out. Again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm, mm, mm. mm. That's nice. Right there. Let's turn them over. Ooh. I'm here for it. Yes, sir. I love me some gravy. Here for it. Teresa is here for it. Yes, she is. All day. We're going to turn it down. All right. So our cheese is still melting. We're going to slide it back. Okay. Okay, so let me get my pan ready. my dish there's my pasta add a little bit this last little bit of water to it Go ahead and put our sauce over in here. Everybody need a cheese bath. All you little pastas in this pan need a cheese bath. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle a little more black pepper in here. Okay. I could 
even need this bowl. How about that? Just taking up space. Y'all see what I did? I waste the whole can of milk in the draw. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All these dishes got to be washed. So I can deep clean. Hey okay, y'all, I'm back after my little mess that I made. I'm gonna sprinkle the cheese on top. This is just, you know, not my real big macaroni cheese like I usually do, but I felt like doing it tonight. Cover this with the cheese. So, make sure we got all our noodles covered. Now, I'm going to pause for the calls, get some things cleaned up, and I'll be back with my garlic green. Okay, guys, here are my roasted chickens. There are the potatoes, and I have been eating them. They are delicious. The garlic green beans. Those are Corey's collard greens. Here are my smothered hamburgers. Or my steak. Well, it's hamburger, but it's um, ground sirloin. That's that. And there is the macaroni and cheese. We just fixed Zaria a little bit. So we're getting ready to eat. Thank y'all for watching. Bye, sugar.